right, here we are. Well, welcome everybody. I'm Dr. Michael Grossman, medical doctor, expert in anti-aging. This is my wife, Dr. Barbara, expert in marriage counseling. And we're here to talk to you today. What are we talking about today, my dear? Our theme is uh, tell the truth before it all hits the fan. Uh, we're here to remind you that your, your relationship is a journey. And it starts with you falling in love and feeling totally connected, like you fit hand in glove. And it's amazing. And a year and a half goes by and it doesn't fit exactly the way it used to. And it's very uncomfortable when that happens. You're, you know, you feel on one hand an attachment. On another, uh, the other hand, you feel like there's, there's discomfort arising and there's some jockeying around. And, and in time, what happens is you find that you have some really tough feelings like anger, like um, resentment, like uh, criticism about your partner because things aren't matching up the way they used to. We're here part of the journey as an important part. And that should signal to you to start looking within, looking to see what your uh, deeper feelings are, the hurt, the disappointment, the embarrassment, the shame from your from your upbringing, from your childhood stories that has you feeling vulnerable and has, it, has you feeling like your relationship is not really connecting with those needs because you're not talking about them. And it's kind of hard to, it's hard to share those feelings uh, at first. Um, couples are really reluctant. I'm thinking about a couple I saw as recently as this week. Uh, a couple not different from a lot of couples I've seen where um, one partner, is um, you know, I'm um, discontent with her relationship. It's not exciting. There isn't feedback or pushback. Uh, she's kind of bored. And uh, what's with her husband? Well, he's an intelligent fellow. He's totally competent. Uh, is he boring? Absolutely not. But he was taught as a, as a young person to kind of get along, to, um, to smooth things out, to be agreeable. And he's been being agreeable for over 20 years. Well, what wakes this couple up is um, an explosion of an affair, which of course is um, very painful and until it starts making sense. And who, had, who had which affair? Who had an affair? Um, you want to know? Well, one, uh, the, the, one, the one that was overtly discontent had, a, had an affair, but it, it, the affair was not in itself meaningful. The affair simply represented what was missing. Um, the partner found someone who was um, tough and expressed themselves and was exciting because they were um, uh, they were really um, super confident and and wanted it their way. So it it was a the other side of of the of the partner. So uh, yes, it's chaotic, it's painful, but on the other side of the upheaval is the growth that that's possible, where they the couple starts talking about what they each really want what their histories and how the histories have formed them and how there's really other aspects of their personality that have not been expressed. And this is an opportunity to really grow together and, and really connect at a deeper level and grow their love. So it, it's not different from you know, most couple stories. In fact, this week, I can say, um, I had an experience where I was really uncomfortable about something and you know, I'm pretty trained. I've been doing this for forever and I've been married for 47 years. And, I was uncomfortable because something touched uh, my story, which I know really well, and I'm usually very articulate about. But when you're when you're reacting in a very vulnerable feeling, it, the, the embarrassment, you know, really came over me. I was I was reluctant to say what was bothering me. Well, I my anxiety kept rising, and I finally t told my story about what was uncomfortable and and how it reached back into time and in my life with my mother and her her complicated uh, life, getting divorced and then remarried. And I had a specific request to make that would make the situation work for me. And not only did Michael listen to me, but he, um, he thanked me for sharing myself. Can you imagine that? Uh, what I was ashamed of became a bond between us. And that's how it is for all of us. If we're willing to share the inner workings of our deepest levels of our experience and our sensitivities of our heart and tell our partner what we what we want that will make us feel comfortable 
it knits us together more deeply than ever. And we're, it's based on really knowing each other. And that's, that's the part of the journey that really is rewarding. But it starts with discomfort and pain. And, but you need to learn how to talk about yourselves in a way that doesn't blame your partner for the experience you're having. Because your partner is not to blame. Uh, it's your own reactivity and your own history and your own interpretation of what bring to the situation that your partner has no idea about until you connect the dots and share it. So what Dr. Barb is saying is so important is that when you're sharing about your hurts and your fears and your anxieties, you're sharing it in a way that one, you're connecting it to your own past, the past that precedes your relationship. Now, this is, this is old stuff from who knows when, when you were 20 or 15 or five or however old you were. And you're sharing that this, this is some old thing that happened to me. And then when something now in the present happens, it touches me and upsets me and makes me feel this way or that way. And then, as Dr. Barber says, a specific request to say, what I need from you now is, and you give them a behavior. Don't be vague about, oh, I never want you to say anything that ever upsets me. Well, that, that's not okay. You've got to be very specific about what it is you're requesting. And that will make that bond where, where you feel like, well, I can do that if that makes you happy and vice versa. Your, your partner can feel like, well, he's like, that, that my partner's making me happy and doing what I want. And, and you both feel closer from that whole interaction. Yeah, I felt so by Michael's hearing me and appreciating what I was saying. Now, if, if you're listening to, to this and you're in pretty good shape and you can take this step on your own to just share the deeper feelings, um, please do so and, and know that it will enrich your relationship. If you're sitting on a, however, if you're sitting on a mountain of, of hurts and resentment and confusion and confusion about whether the relationship could even work, I want you to know we have a program where we teach you how to talk to each other. We train you how to you activate skills that allows you to share in a way that builds trust and builds your bond and really communicates what you need from each other in a way that is safe and guaranteed to get results, guaranteed to knit your, your relationship together with understanding and success. And we're happy to provide you this training in a course that we give called Falling in Love Forever. It's a four session course and each uh, class is devoted to a skill that you can, you learn when you're together with us and you practice during the week before the next class and each skill builds on each other until you have a, um, uh, a toolbox essentially of skills that you need in your relationship to, to anything that is on your heart and on, or on your mind. It's guaranteed to grow your relationship. And what we can say is that we are not born with these skills. You have to learn them. You may get some of them from if your parents were really skilled and you saw them sharing and talking, but for the most part, you need to learn them. You need to develop them for yourself. And so this is a great class for you to, uh, anyone to take. We've had a thousand couples come through the class and it's just been a joy to change people's lives and change the quality of that relationship that means the most. And when you think about your, your romantic marriage relationship, this is the most important relationship in your life. And you should put some time and attention into developing it and enriching it and getting the skills you need it to really feel like your partner is the person that you are most deeply emotionally attached to and you, I, I want you all to feel like your partner is the one who most uplifts you in life, who knows you the best, supports you the most, and you begin to feel like you just fall in love with them on a deeper level than you ever have before because you are growing together and the quality of your love can enrich over a lifetime. What we want and these skills, you don't ever not use them because when you learn them when you're 20, you're gonna use them in a, your 20 year old development. But then when you're 40, you need the same skills, but you're gonna unfold them in a whole different layer and level of life. 
when you're 60, you're going to be in a whole different layer and development of life. And you need these same skills because life doesn't stay static. But the skills are critical on every level and every layer of life. You need these skills to continue to grow. And in our class, and we've written a book called The Marriage Map, The Road to Transforming Your Marriage from Ordeal to Adventure. So you can have a marriage that feels like an ordeal and frequently it can feel that way to people, but you can make it an adventure. These skills make it an adventure because it will not stay the same, but you need the skills and you move through that layers of life that keep on unfolding. And, and this is what we want for you to keep on unfolding life. And however much you feel in love when you're 20, if your life is working and your marriage is working, the intensity of that love is a much bigger, broader quality of intensity. It has a deeper integration and unfoldment when you're in your 60s. And that's the way life's supposed to be. So if you're angry, but you're holding it down so that you can make life work and, and keep things calm and rational, um, but you're really distant and disconnected, or you're angry and you're expressing your anger, which is incredibly destructive, we're talking to you. We want you to take responsibility for growing your relationship. You don't have to stay stuck in this place. You can learn how to share yourself. You can learn how to resolve uh, your, your hurts and, and ask for what you want. It feels like you're powerful when you're angry, but in truth, you're destructive. And it's more powerful when you when you decide to have compassion for yourself and compassion for your partner and learn together what brought you together, what, is the, what are the stories that have you reacting to each other, what you need from each other on this new level. These are uh, important steps that will turn your relationship around and give you great satisfaction and deep connection. So should we tell them how to get in touch with us? Uh, okay. So um, we have a website, themarriagemap.com. You get a lot of information there. And fallinginlovesecrets.com is how you can actually sign up directly for our classes, fallinginlove.com. And you can call Dr. Barber and, and uh, have her help you to sign up for the classes if you like, 949-230-1429, 949-230. 2301429. And you're welcome to see Dr. Barbara in person if you want to make a, an individual appointment to see her. She can certainly help you with that. So anything else what you think on, my dear? So I want to recommend that we it's it's such a great pleasure to learn in a group, but in a group where you still you do the exercises in private space. It's wonderful because you realize obviously you're not alone. Every couple needs to grow like this. And so we encourage you to take the course because you get the big picture. Plus, we share with you how a woman's development is different from a man's development. So we have inevitable disconnections over the course of a relationship, inevitable times when we really don't understand each other because we're in different uh, points of focus in our lives. And that helps us understand each other and, and connect and understand um, what we each need and, uh, and respect each other with our differences. So um, I encourage you to consider the, our relationship class because it's really very, very rich and, and growth provoking. Thanks. Well, it's been a pleasure talking with you all. We look forward to seeing you another week on Facebook Live. And remember, if you want to sign up for our class, fallingalovesecrets.com. Okay. Wishing you love. Bye. Bye. <laughs>